morning. Yes, it is Tuesday and you are at Growth Point with George. And uh, we are looking at deception of how the enemy can deceive us and creep into our lives and to destroy that what God wants to build into us because God has a plan for each and every one of our lives. Today, you do not belong to yourself. <laughs> I want you to hear that. You do not belong to yourself. You don't own yourself. You are here because God has placed you here on this rock for a reason. And the reason is this, to fellowship with God. You belong to God. Now, the greatest deception that has filled the pages of history is evolution. <laughs> yes, man has evolved over the centuries, but man did not evolve from an ape-like creature, nor did man come from a blob that walked out of the water and then became a creation that we see today. No, no, no. The Word of God teaches us, and this is what we need to hold on to, God's Word. You see, science wants to say to us, no, uh, don't, don't believe in God, believe in science. Now, now, let me tell you, science can help us, but science is not the truth because it does not hold all the truth. All the truth that you desire to find in life is found in the Word of God. Now, Genesis 1 verse 26 says this, For God said, Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. <laughs> Come on. So, so God created us in His image. This is what we need to understand. You know what? Society or scientists think that, that Christians are dumb if I can use the word plainly, because they believe that God created and they say, no, no, the earth is not only 6,000 years old. It's actually billions of years old. Well, you know, that is debatable. Again, I come back to the word of God. What does the word of God say to me? Well, the word of God teaches me that man is only 6,000 years old. This is what my Bible teaches. And I hold on to that, what God's word teaches, not what man says, not what scientists teach me, but what God teaches me. Now, if all God wanted was a companion, let me tell you, he would have kept a dog. Not so. Why? Well, they are faithful, loyal, playful, teachable, and lovable. <laughs> but again, you see, what did God do? God gave man a free will. That's what he did. He created man and he said, this is it. You have the keys to the kingdom that I've created. You have this garden that I've given to you. Everything there is yours. Enjoy. Have fellowship with me. Keep in fellowship with me. Keep in touch with me and all things will go well. But watch out for the serpent and do not allow the serpent to come in. God gave him free will. God said, this is it. Go and enjoy. And so God had fellowship with man constantly as they walked together in the garden discussing the things in in the the early evening and nights the bible says that they discuss things that that possibly adam did uh, uh the new adventures that he went on god had fellowship still today god wants to have fellowship with you and i you see when god created man he was looking for somebody to fellowship with god walked with man in the garden and the day man fell to the deception of the serpent, man hid from God and broke fellowship. Man broke fellowship. God did not break fellowship with man, but man broke fellowship with God. And you know what? God loved man so much that he stepped out of heaven for you and I. Why? To reconcile us back to himself. This is how much God wants to have fellowship with you. Still today, God desires to fellowship with man. You see, when God formed man from the dust of the earth, God gave man all knowledge. <laughs> all knowledge. Man was a knowledgeable being. Still today, God gives us that knowledge. Listen to this. It is said, that until the 1900s, knowledge doubled every century. So every hundred years after that, knowledge started to increase. Then they say in 1945, it doubled every 25 years. By 1982, it doubled every 13 months. Today, knowledge doubles every 12 hours. Isn't that crazy? Now listen to this. Go and read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20. It says this, and I'm just going to paraphrase. It says, be careful when you lie on your bed and you think thoughts, bad thoughts about your king. A bird 
in the heavens will carry it to the king's chambers and reveal all that you have said or thought bad things about your king. Do you know technology today can do that, can pick up those things, can pick up the discussions that you have? Now, again, we need to be very careful. You see, <laughs> Knowledge is increasing. Yeah, you've just got your iPhone, your new iPhone today. By tonight or by the time you unpack it, you know what? It's already outdated. This is how knowledge is increasing. Now again, you want to say to me that we came from a blob or an ape-like creature? We evolved to become what we are? No, no. I want to say to you, man was created by God for God's pleasure and for God to fellowship with. So come on, why not draw in to the fellowship of God today?